time. It's 4 a.m. in the morning. Checking out. It's been a long trip. Get back in. You might be. We, well, me at least, I never adjusted to the time change. I don't and think I did either. As you can see, my eyes is 4 a.m., 4.11, 4, 4.11 a.m. here. I'm tired and I'm sore. I'm Not tired lots. too. This hole is like a maze trying to get out of it. Empty down here, like a ghost town. Until next time. Weirdo, he ain't even talk much. No. He's probably not a talker. Yeah. <laughs> you had, when the tip came about how to wake you had look at him like, hmm, you had no tip. Yeah, I ain't giving no tip. I ain't been feeling the customer service. I ain't been feeling the, the friendliness and the warmthness. He didn't even ask us where we from. He asked nothing except for where we going. Huh? We still here at the airport. We've been here. We, we got in like 12 something. Yeah. And it's what time now? It's 847. 8, 847. As you can see, my eyes are even tired. I'm tired too. Our flight keep getting delayed. We done got delayed like three times. I'm just need my bed. Right now, um, we're supposed to fly out at 10 p.m. To go back to Charleston, but our flight is delayed once again. So I don't even know. Hopefully, ten o'clock we'll be able to fly out. Hopefully, that don't get delayed as well. Cause I need to get home. <laughs> I need to get home. Yeah, real. I miss home. Ain't nothing like ain't nothing like being stuck in an airport. Yeah. And you're tired and you just want your own bed. I'm gonna kiss the grounds of Charleston when I get to back home. <laughs> That's how much I miss it. Sorry. I'm sleepy. And being pregnant at the airport ain't fun either. <sighs> you got my shoulder. You got my shoulder. 
Still ain't got nowhere yet. We're in a long line now. We're standing in line, so if you check your email or if you just close your app and refresh it, uh, you might have a new flight. Uh, so do I'll cover this. Um, we're not going to cover a hotel for you guys. That will be out of your pocket because it's a passenger pay. Crew is covering from LaGuardia. That's why the flight canceled. So due to weather and air traffic control, we have a discounted rate uh, coupons here if you would like to grab one of those. And scan it, you might just do a bill one close to the airport area. So any of that, uh, if you still didn't get a book, stay in the line and we'll book you for your flight. Thank you. Y'all, we are still at the airport. How many hours we been in here? We got here at 12.20 p.m. We had a six hour layover. So we already knew we was gonna be here for a while. So our flight was supposed to be at like six, six something, 6.15 p.m. Okay, yeah, flight 6.15 p.m. It got delayed for what, seven? Seven something. It's seven. Like every hour. Then it got delayed for eight. Then it got delayed for 10. Then it got delayed for 11. And 11. And then it's canceled. And we still here at the airport. 105. A.M. A.M. Stuck. We tired, we sleepy. <clears throat> Flight back to Charleston got canceled. We, we, we rebooked the we he, he rebooked us a flight, but that's still not gonna help our cause right now. We was really trying to make it back to Charleston. Like leave straight here like, and go last straight. night. Right. Like we were supposed to be back in Charleston at like ten PM. Here we are, one AM, we still here at the airport. Right now, we're supposed to be flying from from here to Atlanta, then Atlanta to Myrtle Beach, then driving to Charleston. That's stupid. That's a lot. That's like what two and a half hours. <clears throat> we are burnt out. Like I thought the flight coming here was a mess. Man, leaving is worse. I'm gonna say this: I don't want to travel on an airplane no time soon. It's ridiculous, man. It's that kind of like messed me up because. I just want to go home. I miss my babies. Ah, and we, got, just, we got stuff to do. Man. We got stuff to do. And they want to play around. That's going to throw all the plans out for tomorrow. The weekend. Mm. We had a little sandwich for a wrap. The hole is over. The everything is everything closed in here. We got a little sandwich wrap out of the the snack machine and we had that and that's some cran it. grape juice we hungry we, we tired teas. we sleepy we want to go home we want our beds we want all that we want all that i'm just so frustrated with the whole process I'm sleepy. I don't took me a nap, but I'm still sleepy. <sighs> Free the Griffins. Almost there, almost there. Mm -hmm.
it feel like this is never going to end. I just want my bed. I just want to take a shower. I just want to go to sleep. That's all I want. situation again. You can't find my bag. Well, I can't find my bag. Got my bag, but Christy can't find her bag. I'm about to go to baggage service to see what they can do. It's always something, huh? No, I'm just ready to go home. This whole trip going back has been, I don't know. A disaster. It's been too much. Hopefully nobody steal my bag. Hopefully she can locate it. You are okay, so you got the one listed as Christy, right? Do you need one with sisters? Okay, this one should. Our next flight from Atlanta will come in in the morning. There's been some weird cancellations and whatever. Um, so likely it'll be here on like the 9 10 o'clock flight tomorrow. But I'm going to look it up for you right now. And we can file a claim and you can have it delivered. Um, I'm going to show you these as well while I'm typing this up. The delayed baggage process. But then this is expense reimbursement. I know you came here to go to the beach, whatever. So if you don't. If, if it was your bag or whoever's bag, you don't have a bathing suit, you should brush, but they're going to pay more. Do you know what I'm saying? Um, I do apologize. Mm -hmm. They're shipping it there to Austin? Um, I'm going to do the, I'm going to put this in right now and see where it says exactly that it is right now. Oh, you guys were going to Charleston and then you got sorted out to me. Alright, y'all, so here's the update. So, we try to do a lift. Thought that was gonna work out but she's been traveling since 6 30 this morning she said she won't be able to do it so now i'm trying to go another route with another lift and see if she'd be able to take us to charleston but before that we tried to get a a rental car like they told us at the airport when they rebooked the cancel flight they said no flights going back to charleston Nearest thing is gonna be Myrtle Beach. You're gonna have to get to Myrtle Beach, rent a car, drive to Charleston Airport. We got here, got my bag, lost, they lost Christy bag, tried to rent a car. All the cars are sold out. Nothing in Myrtle Beach at all. Nothing at all. I just feel like with the policy, if they cancel our flights and stuff like that, they should provide us. But don't pay. worry, no, they're gonna hear from me. A rental or something. Delta is gonna hear from me. Like, this is the For first real. time Delta. Delta, Delta, is, Delta is gonna hear from me. And it's we, always something. Cancel flight, delays, 
I lost my bag. We definitely gonna get something. I don't know what it is, but they're gonna give me something. But they ridiculous. they don't they waste entirely too much of our time. We supposed to have been back in Charleston at 10 p.m. Here we are. We supposed to have been back at 10 p.m. last night. Here we are. The next day is 4 o'clock p.m. And we sit here. We stuck in Myrtle Beach, two hours away. It's just frustrating. It's just frustrating. It's frustrating. And we we done pretty much exhaust all options. No rental cars. Taxi costs three hundred dollars. A Uber will cost five hundred to seven hundred dollars. Greyhound is gonna take over nine hours for a two-hour drive, which I don't understand. It's just so frustrating. I mean, it's frustrating. It's unfortunate, but uh, it is what it is. I, I'm, I'm trying not to get too frustrated because I like to look at it as everything happens for a reason. Yeah, for a reason. That's, what I'm, that's what I'm taking it as right now. That it's happening for a it's reason. Like everything is, is too much. It, and ever ever since, the, the whole way back, it's just been one thing after another. One I mean, thing after another. We thought American Airlines was so... Yeah, I'm starting I, to think Delta know. Airlines is starting to suck too. I don't know. But uh, we're waiting on this Lyft driver that Chrissy found. She's arriving in three minutes. That's pretty much the only option we got right now. I hope she have a heart and... We're going to see. Take us two hours. We had a Lyft driver. We, we were sitting in the car. We literally... We were literally sitting in the car, had our bags in. Happy. And she found out that it was going to Charleston. She already been to Charleston. She done been to Charleston. She said she was driving since 6 a.m. So she couldn't do it. So now we trying to hold out hope for this next lift drive to see what happens. Yeah. It's been crazy, y'all. It's been crazy, I'm telling you. It's been crazy. She's two minutes away. Two minutes away? All right. She's in a... A Mazda CX-5. Alright. Or like it's black. Hopefully it should be some help to us. Because oh. I about had it. I about had it with this whole situation. Oh. What's up fam? Y'all we finally made it home oh, to Charleston. Finally. Finally. I'm so excited. We had to go through some loops yes. <laughs> to get away back to the airport. Cause um, we met this nice, nice young lady um, through Lyft. What was her name? I think it was Ma Ma Marbury. 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 Maybe. Maybury. Marbury. She is like the sweetest y'all. Like. Sorry for messing your name up, but. Who do you know? Thank you again. We... Who do you know that is from Myrtle Beach and is willing to drive strangers to Charleston? Two hours out of her way. Two hours. And she sacrificed for us to get us here to Charleston because we couldn't find a rental car, we couldn't find a, a Uber, a taxi to take us for a reasonable price. Yes. She sacrificed. So. She sacrificed, and we appreciate her doing that. Yeah. She didn't have to do that. She could have been like, no, that's too long of a drive yeah. for me. Yeah. Feels good. Feels good to, to be have, home. To have your car again. Feels good to be home. Feels good to be driving again. Oh, yeah. We ain't driving in a long time. Mm -hmm. I'm telling y'all, this was an experience out of this world. Just a recap. Just a recap of what happened. So we... Our flight was, um, what time was our flight from Vegas? Your flight was It was thir five? Thursday. Actually, Thursday. We woke up at 4 a.m. on Thursday morning because our flight was at 6. So we woke up. Actually, we only got three hours of sleep, by the way. Yeah, we're going to walk around about Yeah, we, three, we got like three hours of sleep. About four something? Woke up at four. Flight at six. Six, fifteen got to the airport yeah I think the flight was alright today we ain't had no issues on the first flight next flight getting to Minneapolis we got there um, what time we got there about 12, about 12 about noon so Thursday noon we got to Minneapolis 
Yeah, we had a seven hour layover now. That, first of all, that was a bad experience. Seven hour layover in Minneapolis. Okay, we we went out and about, did a few things, came back to the airport. Um, our flight was supposed to be at 6 p.m.? Yep. 6, 6. 6 p.m. ish, something, somewhere around there, 6 p.m. ish. Okay, we get in no, there. 7. 7. 7.15 or something. Yeah, okay, 7.15. Got there, checked our bags, did all that other stuff. Sitting now waiting. Within 30 minutes of us sitting there waiting, flight delayed. Yep. It was like 7.30 something, flight, flight delayed. Pushed it back to eight something. Yeah, eight, it's like, goes back every hour. Eight o'clock get here, flight delayed, 8.20. Okay, 8.20 get here. Flight delayed. 8.50. 8.50 or 9 something, whatever it was. That time got here. Flight delayed, 11 o'clock. And after 11... That's what happens at Charleston, y'all. We used to it. <laughs> flight delayed, 11 o'clock. And, that, and a couple sitting there waiting. And then we, yeah. was, we was trying to figure out why people were standing in the line. Come to find out. Flight canceled. Flight the canceled. flight is canceled. So we're trying to figure out what we need to do to get back. Because our flight was supposed to be from Minneapolis straight to Charleston. No stop, straight to Charleston. So they're checking flights. Turns out there's no other flight going to Charleston. Um, the flight's already going to Charleston full. Yes. So they sending people out the line to get a hotel to stay the night to catch the flight the next day. Well, that, that ain't been an option for us. That ain't been an option. That wasn't an option. We wasn't trying to go to go back to a hotel and have to wake up yeah. again, come back to that the airport, too much. and get on the flight. That wasn't an option. It, it was out of the question. So we ended up staying at the airport. And, um, the worst experience ever. Worst experience, ever. man. We hungry, nothing at the airport open. Like none of the food court stuff, no, none of the side shops open. We hungry. We walk around the airport like zombies looking for food. Sore. Everything in the book. Yeah. Everything negative in the book you can think of, that's how we feel. Yeah, and we finally found a little snack thing that we got, like a turkey wrap from yeah, and some it juice. Was, it was good, I guess, because we yeah. was hungry. Yeah. But that didn't fool us. So uh, we just kind of slept at the airport at some uncomfortable tables. Oh my gosh. Some chairs that had the arms on them so you couldn't really lay out on them. I tried to sleep on the floor, y'all. I probably been on that floor for like 10 minutes. I like, no, was, I can't even. It was die. the worst because we. I can't even sleep on this floor because I'm a germ fool. So just, I was desperate. Just if, laying if on desperate, the floor. If desperate was a, a picture, <laughs> we would be that picture. Yes. <laughs> Cause I mean, we were pretty much out of options. We had we had no other options. Nothing else we could do. And how my mind analyzed things. I'm like, okay, a bunch of people don't walk on this floor. They don't wait in the bathrooms. And I'm pretty sure urine been on the floor in the bathrooms and walk all over this carpet with the animals and stuff. I said, let me get off this floor. That's yeah, I'm telling you, man, when you tired and you ain't got nothing else to do, you desperate, you you do stuff that you don't even, you wouldn't normally do. You wouldn't think to do. You Your mind would go yeah. into, like, survival mode. But that's what, pretty much what it was for us. So our flight from Minneapolis, oh, by the way, we, we ended up having to get a flight from Minneapolis to Atlanta and then to Myrtle Beach. Now, Myrtle Beach is two hours away from us. There were no other options in South Carolina for us to fly into Charleston, so we had to fly into Myrtle Beach. Because if we would have waited, we, we would have we been getting home tonight, later that night or the next day. We that's not an option for us. We couldn't waste any more time. Yeah. So we flew out of Minneapolis at 6 a.m. in the morning. Got to Atlanta at about 10:30. Yeah. 10:30. Okay. Um, flew out of Atlanta that was like an hour flight so no problem with that flew out of Atlanta at 12 30 mm -hmm. 
and we was in Myrtle Beach from Atlanta. Well, we Atlanta at 12. Well, about, about 12 40 something. Yes. I, remember, I remember us boarding at like 12 30. So we flew out of Atlanta at like 12 40 something. Yeah. And we were in Myrtle Beach about, I don't know, 1 30, 1 40. Because yeah. it took about an hour. It's about 1 40. Okay. Yeah. Got to Myrtle Beach. By the way, when we were when we booked that flight, they told us that was that's the best option to mm -hmm. fly from Atlanta to Myrtle Beach and then try to rent a car and drive two hours from Myrtle Beach to Charleston. That seemed like a lot, right? But we ain't really had no other option at this point. We had no other option. Oh. It was either that or get back home later or the next day. We couldn't do that. We couldn't do that. So we um went with that plan. We flew into Myrtle Beach. As soon as we got there, I was starting to get this feeling like something ain't been right, something ain't right. Go to get our bags, my bag pop up. Christy bag nowhere to be found. Like nowhere to be that found. That was just I was just over at that point. Like yeah. my whole attitude was just like I had no more energy left in me to even just get mad. Yeah, so bag missing, so they're tracking it, they're supposed to send us something for it and whatever they do. At that point, we was like, okay, bag missing, so we just gotta keep moving on. Went to the car rental place. It's like, uh... Like How long a, we been there? I don't know, but it's... For about an hour? Probably more. It's like a building with different car rentals. You got your Hertz, you got your Enterprise, you got your Alamo, got Dollar, your Thrifty. Yeah. There's like six different car rental places in there get to the counter they tell me every car is rented out and they said each each one is rented out once one gets rented out like sold out all of them get sold out and then on top of that he tell me in any way we don't do direct trip like one-way trips you couldn't rent a car out from here which and take stupid. it to Charleston Airport you have to bring it back which so at, at that point I'm over it so I, I went outside I'm just I'm thinking because I'm a thinker I'm thinking call a few taxi companies to see if they can take us one of them said 365 for a two hour ride other one said 300 for a two hour I'm like all right we're not doing a taxi because that's just too much that's just too much so I'm looking at different options. I'm looking at a Greyhound bus, which is, that's gonna take like nine hours for a two hour drive, which is crazy. Um, what else I looked at? I looked at Uber. Now Uber. Uber just ridiculous. Uber, like, like the cheapest thing on Uber I saw was $500 for a two hour trip from Murder Beach to Charleston. That's like another plane ticket. Yeah, it's like another plane ticket. And the highest was seven hundred dollars. That's outrageous, man. That's crazy. That's crazy. So we got we we Christy found a lift. Found a lift. Um, it's my first time. Never did lift Uber. None of that. But you know, got my own car, so don't do Uber like that. And when I'm when we in the city, we rent. We usually like rent a car. So did lift. Came up quick. First lady, she was um, she was unaware that we had to go to Charleston. Yeah, we had we had put our stuff in the back. We sat we were sitting in the back seat. I still had my seatbelt in my hand, about to click the seatbelt in the thing. <laughs> I like I was frozen. I was I was about to click my seatbelt in, and this lady, she said, "Oh, you going to Charleston?" Like, yeah, she's yeah, like, I don't think I can do that. I was like, oh man, I was like, here, oh, we, here go. we go, man. Here we go. She's like, I already been to Charleston today, and I've been doing this since six something this morning. And I guess she called her husband trying to get, you know, um, you know, validation or whatever. And I guess he was like, you know what, honey, that's too much. You already been to Charleston, blah blah blah, blah which I understand. Because if you've been working since six something, then you tired and you a little older. She was like a maybe like in her fifties or something. I understand you get tired, you get sleep. That's too much for her. So I understand that. So she apologized. She's like she felt bad, and 
you know. So I was like, no, wait, wait, that's, that's okay. It so I guess once she canceled on us, I guess my my request went to someone else. And that's when we got touched by an angel. Mabry. 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 Sorry for that's what we say here. If you watch, sure if you, watch yeah, if you watching this comment down below and tell us how to say your name because we messing it so up. So I was like, before I, I told you, I said, okay, before I get my hopes up, I'm going to ask her if she's willing to go to Charleston. So I was like, hi, are you able to take us to Charleston because that's where we're from? She's like, sure. I don't have nothing else to do. I was like, oh my God. Thank you. It was, I, it was a blessing, man. I'm telling you, it was a blessing. Jesus. Like, she got us to Charleston in about two hours. Listen. It, co oh. it cost us a little bit, but not as much as it was worth it, what the taxi was. Listen, who do you know that is from Myrtle Beach would take two strangers to Charleston? Two, two hours. Two hours out of their way. So that was really sweet of her, and we appreciate her I'm so much. She's you, such man. a sweet She's soul. Lifesaver. We need more lift uh, drivers like her. Like, she is the bomb. So we're just tired, guys. Just so happy to be back. Happy home. to be home. Never been so excited to be back home. I don't think I'm gonna see another airplane anytime soon. Yeah, it might be a while. We um, gotta recover from this one. Minneapolis, you left a bad taste in my mouth. Um, yeah. <laughs> well, um, I'm, I'm just tired. I'm sure to I'm tired. Too. Take a shower. Get relax. this airport yeah. travel off me. But thank y'all for watching the Vegas vlogs. Sorry we had to end it on such a crazy vlog, but this is real life. This is what happens. Yeah. This is what happens. First time that it ever happened to us. But um, it happens. Stuff like this happens. And you just gotta find a way to deal with it, cope with it, find a way. Thank you, Jesus, that we made it back safe. Yeah, so. Y'all comment down below if this ever happened to y'all, if y'all ever had some flight delays or cancellations that kind of threw you off first time we ever experienced this I'm so tired guys first time for everything I guess yeah first time for everything yeah but we hope y'all enjoyed the Vegas vlogs probably won't be doing no more <laughs> Vegas vlogs for a while <laughs> after after this go yeah, around this was, uh, going to Vegas yeah. and being in Vegas was fun Leaving Vegas was hectic. It was crazy. Crazy. It was crazy. But we'll do some more Vegas vlogs one day. Just not no time soon. Yeah, Probably not know. no time this year. Maybe like in two, I, three, I four know. more years. I don't know. We'll see. But wow. thank y'all for watching. We'll see you in the next video.